What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. And they gave us 5,000 quarters to get started today. A pretty expensive game, so wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions of dollars in profit. Now they got this thing loaded up super, super good today. This is one of the craziest setups I've seen in there in a very long time. They got like a... I'm going to call this the world's biggest city of poker chips. I've never seen like a city of poker chips in there before, so this is like a brand new uh, setup right here. They're just getting better and better and better with the ideas over the past couple of days. So, uh, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of brand new employees working here, so they must be very, very experienced at like stacking the chips and stuff, so... Anyhow, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here today. Oh, nice. We're getting them towers to crash down pretty quick now. Come on, big money. Oh, yeah. This one right here is like defying gravity. Look at that. It's like right there on the edge. Yeah, we're going to get it to go here soon. But I think the only obstacle we're going to be facing in this game right here, there is no uh, quarters. But luckily, they gave us 5,000 quarters to start with, so... We technically have to fill up the machine with quarters ourselves, which shouldn't be that hard to do. We done got it filled up pretty good. We're starting to get the towers to go. Oh, nice. Check that out. There's a dark blue mystery bag on the edge. Let's get that loot chute cleared out. It seems like it's getting pretty full. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that mystery bag, it got stuck, but there it goes. Sweet, we got it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this huge city of chips. Well, I'm calling it the world's biggest city of chips. Yeah, just uh, let me know what you think about it down in the comments section. Oh yeah, nice, there we go. We're going to get the big old tower over there on the right. Yep, there it is. Jackpot, baby. Sweet. Wow, this is doing outstandingly well today. Winning tons of five and ten thousand dollar chips. Got nice for a better game than this. Yeah, and on the blue shelves, they got all kinds of a uh, twenty-five thousand dollar chip towers. Yeah, that's definitely where all the big money's at. I'd say all that money on the blue shelf is probably around, uh, let's see, at least ten, fifteen, twenty million dollars. All in those uh, twenty-five thousand dollar chips. So I'd say there was probably about, oh gosh, at least $30 million in there we have the potential to win. So, yeah, I'm not leaving here today till we get it all cleared out of there. Well, we still got tons of quarters. We're barely, barely got any of those 5,000 quarters in yet. So let's just rapid fire a bunch of them in there at one time. Let's try a whole entire basket in there at once. Are you ready for this? Well, that was about a whole entire basket at once. Let's see what it does. Come on, big money. Oh, yeah, that right there should give us a nice push. Nice, there we go. See, if you stack up the quarters really, really high on that uh, moving platform back there, it really, really speeds up the process of winning these uh, big old towers on the left and the right corners. So I guess we need to uh, continue stacking it up. Let's use that skill stop technique. That might get things moving. Now let's go for a couple more handfuls of quarters and I'll let the skill stop button go. So uh, be sure you comment the number 9 down in the comment section. That is the number for the day. It lets me know that you're uh, still watching the video and stuff. I'm not skipping forward. Alright, well anyway, let's see what all that does. That was about, oh goodness, at least 120 quarters at once. I'm still adding to that by putting quarters in over there on the right. So what I'm thinking, I'm just going to play through these first 5,000 quarters. We're about halfway through, I guess. 
And uh, once I run out of quarters, I'll just go ahead and open up the Mr. Bag. And then I will either cash in the $5 chip and have them put those towers into the play field if we win that and if that's in the Mr. Bag. And if that's not in there, I will just pay two times original buy-in. That's the other way you can get that stuff. So I'd have to pay $20 million to get all that stuff put into the play field. Well, I'm not seeing any of the uh, dice in there today, so that's not good at all, because we probably need a whole bunch of dice if we're going to win that $10 million. Well, you know, I don't know, but uh, there should be at least $10 million in chips in there. Well, like I said, there's definitely probably close to 20 or $30 million, if not more, but uh, we're not guaranteed to win all that stuff out of there. But uh, those dice, if we win those dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Uh, the white ones, those would multiply my winnings. That would multiply the chips and the cash. And the gold dice, that would multiply the gold. And that's another thing I haven't seen in there today. There's no gold in there whatsoever, so I don't know what that's about. Well, this was a lot different setup compared to normal. It was just like a huge poker chip city or something like that. So they might have made this one a little bit more different, which they obviously did. So it's probably why there's no gold or mystery bags in there. Yeah, like I said, just let me know what you think about this amazing setup down in the comments section. Whoever built this did a fantabulous job. Alright, so I'd say we got around roughly 500 quarters left. Alright, a couple more handfuls of quarters and we'll be done with this round right here anyway. Can't wait to count up how much money we've won so far. Like I said earlier, this is doing outstandingly well today. All right, well, let's see what all that does. That's technically all the 5,000 quarters, so come on, big money. All right, well, this tower right here is defying gravity. It's like hanging over the edge tremendously. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check out that Mr. Bag. All righty, I'm back. So here's that uh, dark blue Mr. Bag. Let's go ahead and check it out. See if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. Feels like it's loaded up pretty good. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. It was loaded up super, super good. We got a whole bunch of one dollar chips let's get these out of the way first we got uh looks like seven of them so that is 3500 extra quarters right there each one of these one dollar chips is worth 500 three quarters so that is absolutely incredible and check this out we got that five dollar chip that i was talking about so we get to turn this in they'll put all them towers that are on the side tables into the play field for free so that is awesome and uh, we got the $50 chip today. We get to cash this in. They'll take everything that has fallen down in them side slots. And they'll put it all back into the play field. And uh, this $10 chip right here. This is worth one or more free bonus towers. I get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel. And uh, that wheel has all these different types of chip bays on there. And whatever it lands on. It's what type of brand new tower they'll build in the play field. So that is incredible. Yeah, that Mr. Bag was loaded up super, super good. So I tell you what, I'm thinking I should go ahead and turn in the seven $1 chips and the $10 chip, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $10 chip, and all seven of those $1 chips, they gave me 3,500 extra quarters. So that put our quarter count up to about 7,000 quarters, I guess. So that is an outrageous amount of quarters right there. That should be way more than enough quarters to get this whole entire machine cleared out today. And uh, anyway, I got to spin that wheel, and today it landed on gold bars, so yeah, that's going to be the first little bit of gold we're going to win today, that big old tower back there, because there was no gold anywhere else. It was all poker chips, but I mean, that's fine with me. Every now and then, a different type of setup is nice. Oh yeah, we're already going to get it. Nice, there it goes. Holy smokes. Wow, I can't believe we got that massive tower already. 
Oh yeah, that was a brilliant avalanche of gold right there. That was insane. I can't believe that tower crashed down within the first like, what was it, like five or ten pushes or so? Yeah, I thought for sure, as massive as that tower was, I thought it was going to take a pretty good while to get it to fall down, but uh, luckily we got it to go in on top of that. We got that tower tips that was on this left side here. Wow, that is incredible. Holy smokes, this is doing phenomenal today. And you know what? All this gold being like piled up in the play field here could potentially help us get this big old massive tower of $5,000 kept over here on the right side. So let's get that loot chute cleared out again. Oh wow, that was a nice push. Alrighty, I'm back. So I got that loot chute cleared out. My goodness. There was a ton of gold stuck in there. Now that's usually what happens uh, whenever they have a lot of gold in there. If a lot of it falls down at one time, like all it takes is one gold bar to get stuck down there in the uh, loot chute. Then it just starts a massive traffic jam. And uh, literally everything that falls out of there, whether that be chips, gold, quarters, everything gets stuck on that one gold bar. So that's why it's best to keep that loot chute cleared out at all times. And plus, for the ones who don't know, there's actually this little opening area, like right up above the uh, payout chute. And if it gets too full, whether that be chips, gold, quarters, cash, whatever's piled up in there, if it gets too full, uh, sometimes money will fall down that little opening area. Yeah, there's been times I've lost tons of dice that way. I'd see like 10 dice fall off of the uh, edge right through here. And there would only be like seven of them down there in the uh, payout chute. So that means that uh, they lost them because that loot chute got too full. And uh, it would actually go to the same exact place as those side slots on the left and the right side. And anything that goes in there, that goes to the owner. It all goes inside the machine into this big old, like, what do you call it? Like a tub of wear or something, a big old box. And uh, that's where all the owner's money goes. And I'm sure there's tons of quarters down there because technically every single push, if you just pay attention to one of these side slots, you'll see a whole bunch of quarters falling down in there like every single push. So that's why we could start with like 3,000 quarters and then after a couple hours of playing, we're down to like 1,000 or something. Because eventually you're going to lose it all to the gutters if you play long enough. And I know on a lot of coin pushers, this machine right here doesn't have it for some reason, but uh, there's actually this little elevation at the edge of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the edge of the play field right there. And it actually tilts upwards and stuff, and that makes the games a lot more harder to win at. And that means you just lose quarters to the gutters a lot faster that way. But uh, this machine, I think the reason why they don't have the front ledge on there is where there's so many poker chip towers they tend to get stuck against the glass like right up here and stuff and on the corners as well so they just thought taking that elevation off of there would fix that which it pretty much has but uh, from time to time we always have a tower that gets stuck in there there's nothing abnormal about that Alright, well I'm just going to push this last 15 or 20 grand out of here on the left. Alright, there we go. Might as well go ahead and call it quits right there. Can't believe we got all that gold out of there like in a matter of 2 or 3 minutes. That is incredible. Alright, so let's see. Should we go ahead and turn in that $5 chip? They'll put all them towers here into the play field. They might rearrange them too, I'm not sure. So yeah, let's call them back here and we'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip and uh, they took all those humongous towers that was on the blue shelves. They put them all into the play field. Well, they put all the $25,000 chip towers on the pusher back there. Those are in fabulous spots. And uh, they even moved those $5,000 chip towers that was on the corners. And they like moved them further away from the corners. So that's super nice right there. Hopefully they're actually uh, winnable now. They should be, or they're not. Like. But uh, either way, we don't win them on this round. We'll win them on the 
next round whenever I turn in the $50 chip. So uh, let's see. All those towers back there on the pusher, they're like on the edge of the pusher back there. So let's go ahead and pile up the quarters. Super, super high back there. This is definitely going to get those towers to fall down. Hopefully we'll get like wave after wave of pushes. Hopefully the poker chip towers fall down. Oh no, dropping a whole bunch of quarters on the floor. I'll pick those up here shortly. So anyhow, let's see what all that does. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at all that money we're winning. Now those are all $25,000 chips, so... Yeah, we're definitely going to get rich off of this game right here. Oh yeah, there we go. But uh, we have not won any dice, unfortunately, so that's the unfortunate part about it. But uh, there could still be some dice in that $50 chip game, because somebody else could have lost a dice or something to the uh, side slot or something. But uh, worst case scenario, if there's no dice in there, it still should be a pretty nice game, I guess. Hopefully we can make a pretty decent profit. And, I mean, you'd think there'd be dice in there on a $10 million buy-in game, so... A little confused about that. Oh my goodness, wow, we're getting so many $25,000 chips. This is absolutely insane. You all should see this big old mountain of chips down here below the uh, payout chute. Yeah, I have this big old like box that is sitting underneath it to catch all the chips that fall out of there. Yeah, if I didn't have that box down there, those chips would fly across the room somewhere. They would roll up, up and under a slot machine or something. Because uh, this isn't like a huge casino, if that's what you're thinking. I will explain it the best way possible. Uh, so pretty much, there's two coin pressures, this one and the old one. The old one, it's like pretty worn out and it's doesn't push as good as this one and the videos are pretty boring on that machine so I don't don't ever play that one however now there's actually I think seven or nine other slot machines no there's nine of them so yeah there's nine slot machines here there's two vending machines one candy and chips vending machine and one like soda machine and stuff like that. Also got water and uh, Gatorade in there if you want that. So yeah, there's really not that much to it. It's technically like a mini gaming room or a gaming parlor or something like that. Whatever you want to call it. So it's not like at a huge casino or anything. You can probably hear some of the other games in the background. Probably hear some of the slot machines. They're they're running 24/7. Well, until they close the place for the day, they're always running all day long. Most of the time, it is pretty quiet in here whenever I'm filming these videos. Oh, nice! There we go. I think we're going to get all this money out of here on the right before we turn in that $50 chip. It's all on the edge now. We just need one big old push over there on the right and it should get that tower. The big old massive tower, $5,000 chip. There's 75 grand hanging over the edge right there. It is insane how these poker chips can defy gravity at times. Nice, there we go. Finally it fell down. I mean, if we don't get that tower on the right, we'll probably end up getting uh, some of those $25,000 chips on the right corner. Either way, we're going to get it all on the next round regardless. Because I'm definitely not giving up on that one. Yeah, so I'm just going to finish out this basket of quarters right here. And uh, if we don't get the tower on the right, or any of that stuff on the right for that matter, I'll just turn in that $50 chip. Sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Also, those $25,000 chips that we lost to the blue shelf over there on the right, uh, they will put that back into the play field whenever I turn in the $50 chip. So, yeah, that $50 chip comes with a free reset, if you're wondering. And we'll put all that back into the playing field for free, which is nice. 
All right, so we only got a couple quarters left. It's not really looking good for that tower right now. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and turn in that $50 chip, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $50 chip, and uh, they took everything that had fallen down in the side slots today, and they put it all back into the play field. There's quite a few $25,000 chips and gold bars, five and $10,000 chips, so we should be able to make a bunch of extra money off of this game right here. I can't really tell if I lost all this stuff or if there was previously some stuff down in there. Well, I definitely don't remember seeing this much stuff falling down the gutters, and I've kept that loot chute cleared out pretty much all the way through this game right here, so I don't see how we could have lost anything that way. So yeah, more than likely somebody else had been playing on this machine before I got here, and they uh, have lost a bunch of stuff and say they didn't win that $50 chip, so... Anyway, but there's no dice in there today at all. We have not won any dice. No Mr. Money Keychain today. But like I said, the buy-in was $10 million, so... Yeah, we should be able to win at least 20 or $30 million off of this game, hopefully. And that's not counting the gold. We've also won quite a bit of gold today. And also, if you're wondering what happened to that big old tower of $5,000 chips that was over here on the right, uh, as soon as they opened the front door of the machine, the whole entire tower just collapsed down and it fell straight down into the payout chute. So they just said, well, we might as well go ahead and count this as a win. Because there was no point in them rebuilding the tower after it, it all like fell inside the payout chute. So anyway, they counted that big old tower as a win, which is nice. That was probably about at least a two or three hundred thousand dollar tower. Maybe a little bit more, maybe less, who knows. But uh, anyway, let's see. Really not that much stuff in there left to win, so let's just push across the whole field equally and evenly, and we should get it all cleared out of there in the matter of no time. Definitely think there's more weight on the left side since that uh, gold bar was right there. Come on, nice push, give me something. Got 25 grand on the rod, it's going to go here shortly. Oh yeah, nice, we got it. That was an excellent push right there. Oh yeah, I got a gold bar. Not bad, not bad at all. And that other 15 grand that's on the edge right here, about ready to go. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this video today and you want to see more videos like this one, uh, be sure you leave a like on the video and uh, subscribe to the channel to see daily videos like this. Yeah, I post videos every single day, typically between 2 and 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, uh, be sure you tune in around that time to check out the brand new video. This video today might be just a little bit late, possibly like... Uh, no later than 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But, uh... Oh, nice. There we go. We got those chips on the left. Let's see. I can't tell if there's another chip underneath that 5,000 over there on the right. It might just be some quarters stacked up, making it look like there's something underneath it. So let's push on that right side only. Try to get that last five grand or so to move forward. But yeah, like I said, I post these videos every single day, seven days a week. So if you want to see more amazing towers, large buy-ins, big wins, uh, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It's 100% free. It won't cost you no money at all. So, And I'm not making any money from it either. So It's really just a super, super beneficial feature that YouTube has to make it a lot easier for you to keep up with your favorite channels and stuff. So you really can't beat that. Oh yeah, that five grand, it's on the edge now. It's moved forward tremendously. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna get this any second now. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby. We got the whole entire machine cleared out today. That is absolutely incredible. This has been an outstandingly good game today. So uh, anyway, we didn't win any dice, so I guess I'm going to count everything up. And uh, I'll let y'all know how much money in golden quarters we have won today from a $10 million buy-in. We'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So in total, I ended up winning $32,875,000 from a $10 million buy-in. That is absolutely amazing. So that means we profited $22 million. $875,000 today. So I know that's not as much profit as we usually make off of these winning videos, but uh, this is still an outstanding profit, especially considering there was no dice in there today. That is just incredible, absolutely brilliant game today. And uh, it doesn't end there. Moving on, we won 136 ounces of gold. And uh, the spot price of gold is like 2170 an ounce right now, I'm pretty sure. So that means we got $295,120 in gold. That's a decent win for the gold right there. Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was 4,784 quarters. So let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $1,196 in quarters today. That is a magnificent win for the quarters right there. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, uh, be sure you leave a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell icon, that way you're notified for future videos. And if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen there. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, I highly suggest you would. It's absolutely amazing. That will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And the video that's going to pop up on the top left of the screen here, that video is outstanding as well. So you should really go and check that one out. And uh, last but not least, if you want to subscribe to my channel and just uh, scroll through the videos and pick out which one you want to watch or something, uh, you're welcome to do that. That will appear at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see everybody on the next video. Y'all take care and have an outstanding day.